Hello, hello everybody. I am Chris and today we're doing a 45 minute yoga style power flow routine. Okay. Um, there are quite a few planks and down dogs and things like this in this routine. So I'm just letting you know if you need a wrist friendly routine where there isn't any of that, but is still a power style uh, workout, I put a link in the description. It says, uh, need a wrist friendly workout. And then the link is there. So, uh, you can actually get a great yoga practice without being on the hands for the down dogs and all that stuff. Um, but today we will be doing, uh, planks down dogs. This is going to be sweaty. Listen, the point of doing this is that we want to be able to be in uncomfortable places sometimes and be okay with it. So it's about the breathing, slowing down and knowing that if if a pose doesn't feel good for you, you can come out of it and it's absolutely okay. All right. So I want you to think about that even with your daily life, right? You're you're thinking of, oh my gosh, like I'm in this, I'm at, I'm at a party and I'm so uncomfortable here. Take a breath. That happens to Kevin all the time. <laughs> okay. You take a breath and you're just like, this is where I am. This is what I'm doing. If you planned to do a 45 minute routine or workout today, just stay till the end. I don't care if the last 15 minutes that you're doing is in child's pose. Stay. The only thing that you do would do be doing not correctly is turning it off and leaving. Okay. So we're actually going to start on the floor and go ahead and press play, Kev. We're going to start down on the floor and we're going to get into a child's pose. Okay. We're going to come forward and just let your head sink down on the floor. If you'd prefer to put a pillow under your head, you totally can. Good. So just breathe here. You're reaching the arms forward, letting your head be heavy and just noticing how your body feels in this position. Start to notice what we have going on today, which could be totally different than what you had going on yesterday, right? So listen, notice the feel of your forearms against your mat or whatever the surface is beneath you. And as you breathe in, notice the expansion of your torso. As the lungs fill with air, the ribs expand. And exhaling, just letting everything relax here. Noticing the fingertips on the floor. Noticing how your back feels. And really starting to focus on your breath. And right now we're getting it out of our heads. Right now we're not thinking about, well, when does the workout start? The workout has started. It starts with you knowing we're going to be doing some things that may feel different for you today if you're not into doing yoga. And knowing that challenging your body and trying new things is what makes us stronger. So inhaling deeply through your nose and exhaling, just sinking. And you can add a little bit of movement to this. So when you inhale, maybe lift up just a little bit and reach those arms forward. And then as you exhale, sink down into your pose a little bit deeper. 
We're gonna do this one more time. Inhale. And exhale, good. Staying right here. All right. So on your next inhale, come up to hands and knees. Spread out your fingers, which doesn't mean move your hands. Your hands should be directly under your uh, shoulders, so they're not forward, okay? So spread out the fingers so your hands are wide. Curl your toes under and give me an inhale. And then as you exhale, pull your belly button to your spine, uncurl your toes and press the tops of your feet into the floor. And then inhale, flex the feet, look up and arch. Exhale, squeeze all of the air out and round. So we have cat cows here. Nice big, big expression of this pose. Good, so moving even the feet here. Now some people have asked me, do we do yoga barefoot? Can I wear sneakers? You can wear sneakers if you need to, but I prefer that you don't. So that way you can get really deep into those feet and feel the stretching that will go on there. Okay, and that's very important. Your feet hold you up all day long. So we wanna give a little love to them. Just feeling that movement right here and keep this going. Good, round it out one more time. And let's come to a flat back, uncurl your toes. Okay, from here, we're going to go back into a child's pose. And as you inhale, you're going to come forward, upward facing dog, chest through the shoulders. So that's an inhale. And then as you exhale, back to your child's pose. Inhale, upward dog, and feel that articulation of the spine. Good, exhale back. Now, you don't have to be on my inhale and exhale cue. You might be just flowing, and I want you to flow with your breath. It doesn't have to be on my cue. So listen, the exhale is back in child's pose. The inhale is up in upward facing dog. Good, and again. Allow your breath to lead your movement. Good, we're gonna do one more. And up dog. Good, and let's come back to hands and knees. Get those hands back under your shoulders and knees under your hips. We're gonna inhale, arch again. And round, this time keep the toes uncurled. Nice, and flatten it out. Let's extend your right leg back. Straight parallel to the floor so it's not up here. And when you do that, try not to sink into your left hip. Now, extend your left arm forward and hold it. If you need to, for a little more support, you could curl those left toes under, okay? Otherwise, it's uncurled because that makes it a little bit more core work. We're gonna take two in, two out, knee to elbow. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Ready? We exhale and inhale again. And two, good and up, we're doing six on each side. And three, out, good. Four, reach, come on. Five, one more, six, and hold it. Bring your left hand down, right knee down, left leg back right arm extended in the front, arm is next to your ear, reach and hold, inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. We're going in, in, out, extend, good, in. So you're reaching the leg to the back wall and the arm to the wall in front of you, three. Good, inhale, and then exhale, squeeze it out. Good, 
two more. One more. Hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. Right hand down. Left knee down. Curl your toes under. And what we're going to do is press your hands into the floor. Squeeze your upper back. And press your toes into the floor. Lift your knees. Okay, so your knees, you're not back here. Your knees are about two inches off the floor. So if I was to look at you, like if you look at me, it looks like my knees are on the floor. Hold it. Good, hold it. <sighs> Waiting to exhale. <laughs> Let's talk about Angela Bassett arms. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, so this first pose that we're gonna get a little uncomfortable in. Spread those fingers out, so open up the hands. Put some weight in the knuckles as well as the heel of the hand and all of the finger pads. Breathe, be okay here, hold. Starting to feel a special warmth in the front of your thighs. Hold, and remember anytime you need to come out of a position, you just drop to a child's pose and it's absolutely okay. Good, hold. Breathe in and out. One more breath. You can do this. And hips up. Press back into your downward facing dog. Now right there, spread out your fingers. We're going to inhale, lift onto the toes. Exhale, press down. Good. Inhale to the toes. Exhale, press down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. And again, if you need to do this at your own pace, that's what you do. Okay, this is your practice. I'm just guiding you through it. Good. Now leave your right heel up and press your left down, bending your right knee. And switch. Hold. Two, three, switch for two, it's two, and switch, two, and switch, come on, two, and switch, two, and switch, again, two, and switch, pick that up, you're going to go left down, right down, left down, little movement in there, and left, and right, and left and right four more four and three and two good and one press both heels down and hold that should loosen up those achilles a little bit good hold big breath in here and then as you exhale walk your feet toward your hands Good, and we're just gonna dangle down here for a sec. Okay, breathe. Now listen up, your feet can be apart if you're not super flexible or if you have really long legs. If you want your feet to be together, that's an option too. Just know if you don't have the flexibility, you might not be able to reach the floor. So feet apart will help you with that. Everyone, you don't have to look, just listen. Bring your hands to the center of your shins and lengthen your back, look forward, and then exhale and fold. Now listen, bend your knees and roll yourself all the way up, all the way up, reach your arms up. Good, bring your hands to your heart center. Nice, now if you want your feet together, that's fine. Listen, we're gonna take an inhale up. You're gonna grab your left wrist and reach to the right on an exhale. Inhale, grab your right wrist, lean to the left. Inhale, right arm front, left arm back for a twist. Inhale, other direction, you exhale. Inhale, up, exhale, fold. Hands to the shins, look forward. Exhale, hands to the floor, walk back to plank. And if you need to drop to your knees, go for it. We're gonna do down, two, 
and then back up for two. Okay, you can go on the knees, especially if you're just getting warm here still. You have two more of these. And down, all elbows are close to the body, inside of the arm. Good. And down, two. And hold it. Let's lift the toes, sorry, lift the knees in a plank position. Take your feet hip width apart. You're gonna go back to a down dog. Hold, inhale, exhale to plank. And hold. Down dog, take it back, down. Hold, plank, take it forward, nice, good, take it back, right here, back, good, take it forward, now you're holding here, now what you can do, if you need to, you can drop the knees, otherwise you're going to bring yourself all the way to the floor, uncurl your toes, lift up into a cobra, Hands are off the floor, shoulder blades squeezing back. Hands back to the floor. Curl your toes or put your knees down. Press yourself back up and go back to a down dog. <sighs> Inhale, press back. Exhale to plank. Inhale, one in plank. Exhale, lower down. <sighs> Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hands down. Curl your toes or stay on the knees. Push yourself back up and downward facing dog. Nice, let's do one more like that. Now listen, everybody, this time you're gonna go into an up dog. So lower yourself down, slide it through, up dog or that cobra, and then curl the toes under, down dog. Breathe. Here comes the warmth and the heat. Inhale, press the thighs back. Exhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, hands to your shins, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Grab your left wrist and lean to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, up. Right hand forward, left goes back for your twist. Inhale, up. Twist the other direction, left arm forward, right back. Inhale up, exhale fold. <sighs> Inhale, hands to the shins, look forward. Exhale, hands down, walk back to your plank position and lower yourself down for your flow. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. <sighs> Inhale once. Exhale, walk your feet forward. Here we go. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, grab your left wrist, lean to the right. Inhale, other way. <laughs> Pretty good. Inhale, up center. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, up and switch. Right arm back, left forward. Inhale up and fold. Hands to your shins. Exhale, walk or jump back. Lower yourself down. Inhale, upward dog. Cool, good. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to do this one more time. Inhale. Exhale, walk or jump your feet forward. It's up to you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. And we're gonna grab that left wrist, lean it over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, lean it left. Inhale up and turn right forward, left back. Inhale it up and switch. Inhale it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen and look forward. Exhale, walk or jump back. Lower down, we're all gonna meet in that downward facing dog after your flow, good, flow through it. And back to your down dog, hold it right here. Good, deep inhale and let it all go through the mouth. Do that again, inhale, exhale. 
good inhale exhale now on the next inhale right leg way up to the sky exhale bring your right knee towards your right elbow in a plank inhale up exhale bring that right knee towards your nose right in the center pull it up inhale lift up exhale cross to the left elbow inhale up exhale right knee to right elbow again one more round inhale up exhale knee to nose inhale up exhale cross inhale up good come forward to plank position lower yourself down inhale up dog exhale down dog inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth inhale left leg up to the sky reach it big inhale as you exhale come forward left knee to left elbow inhale up cross left knee to right elbow and inhale up bring knee to nose I went in the wrong order there back up I'll fix it this time good and left I need a left elbow center and we're gonna take it to the nose first take it to the nose don't hit yourself up good and cross take it all the way up bring it to plank you're ready to flow take it down inhale up exhale down dog inhale exhale walk or jump forward inhale lengthen look forward exhale fold inhale all the way up hands together at the top and bring them to your heart inhale up left wrist grab it lean it over to the right see if you can get a little deeper inhale it up lean it over to the left grabbing your right wrist inhale up right arm forward left back inhale up other direction good nice inhale it up exhale fold here we go inhale lengthen look forward adding in a little here hands down walk or jump back to your lowering down chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog now listen right leg way up to the sky and we're going to lunge that leg right between your hands okay from there we're gonna come up to a low lunge fingertips hover but pull your shoulders back okay fingertips are hovered back leg is straight you're off the back heel now let's come into a high lunge hold okay hold it there what we're gonna do here is make goal post arms okay so it's like that right goal post arms and what I want you to do is inhale open them up and then exhale, lean over your front leg, palms up and hold. Reach those arms back, lengthen away from your ears. Ready? Inhale, goal post arms, open your chest. Exhale, back. So you are not moving your legs. Good. You're moving from your core, your middle, open the chest. Good. And then back. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. Good, inhale, open it. Nice, exhale, bring your hands down on either side of that foot. Take it back to your plank position, lower yourself down. Inhale, upward dog, ride through your vinyasa. Take it back, down dog. Inhale, left leg way up. And bring it forward. Come up to your low lunge, fingertips reach to the floor, but your back is straight, you're not rounded here. Okay, drop the hips. Ready? Inhale, high lunge. Goal post arms, inhale, look up. 
exhale, come forward. So again, you're not moving your legs. You're not coming out of your lunge. Inhale up, open, exhale. Inhale, exhale, reach. Again, Sarah, inhale, Woo. <laughs> and this time, Hands come to the floor, ride through your vinyasa, bring that leg back, lower it down, inhale it up. Good, exhale, down dog. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Last one of these, exhale. Inhale all the way up. Grab your left wrist, lean it over to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. Inhale it up, right arm forward, left back for your twist. Inhale up, exhale other side. Good. Inhale up, exhale fold. Inhale, hands to the shins, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, walk or jump back and lower yourself down, ride through that vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. So listen, take your right leg way up to the sky. Good. Exhale, bring it forward. Low lunge. Inhale, high lunge, open. Exhale, lean it forward. Hold it. From that position, left hand on the floor, right arm circles up and opens to a twist. Hold it, good. Take that right hand back down on the either side of that right foot. Let's come back to three-legged dog, right leg up. Put it down, come forward to plank, ride through the vinyasa. Inhale, exhale back, left leg up. Good, lunge it forward. Low lunge, inhale, goal post arms. Exhale, bring it forward. Good, right hand down. Circle your left arm forward and then open to a twist. Good, hold. Good, you're not up like this. That front knee is bent, the back leg is straight. Awesome, inhale. Exhale, bring that hand down. Good, three-legged dog, left leg up. Back to plank, ride through your vinyasa. Inhale. We will all meet in downward facing dog. Woo. Right leg up. Exhale, lunge it forward. Get into that low lunge, hold. Inhale, goal post, arms open. Exhale, forward, reach the arms back. Good. Left hand on the inside of your foot. Reach the right arm back. Now ready, bring it along your body. Open it up. Good, twist, hold. Nice. Now, take your right hand back down. Fingertips on either side of that front foot. Okay, listen. Up to low lunge. And what we're gonna do here is twist. So bring your hands to your heart. Keep your legs where they are. You're gonna twist toward that front leg. So you're gonna twist, turn with your hands to your chest. Good. Back to the center. And now lift your knee up, left knee. Good. Take it back to your low lunge, twist. Good. Back to the center, knee up. Good, take it back, leg is straight, twist. Center, knee up, balance, yes, ready, take it back, twist. Good news, back to the center, hold it, hands down, three-legged dog, right leg up. Bring it down, flow through your vinyasa, inhale. 
Mm, exhale, down dog. All of that on the other side. So listen, left leg up. And lunge it through. Low lunge. Pull the shoulder blades back. Beautiful. Ready? Take it up. Goal post arms. And then exhale. Reach the arms back. Keep your left hand where it is. Right hand to the floor. Circle your left arm forward. And then open it up. Hold it. Whoo! Yeah, hold. Good. Take that left hand down to either side of that front foot. Hold it. And back to that lunge. Hands to your chest. Prayer. Twist. Good. Hold it. Bring it back to the center and lift it up. It is absolutely okay if you are wobbling. Twist. If you are falling. Okay. Guess what? We all wobble and fall in life and then those wobbles and falls end up get, getting us to learn and be stronger in the mind and the body you have one more of these back good and back to the center hands on either side of that foot bring it down left leg way up mm, good come forward to plank and go ahead and ride through that vinyasa up Exhale, down dog. Whoo! Nice. Hold it. Breathe. Just shake out your head. Okay. Good. Inhale deep. Exhale. Walk or jump your feet forward. Hands to your shins. Look forward. Exhale, fold it. Inhale, bring it all the way up. All right, and bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you get there. I'm gonna have you bring one leg back, turn so you're facing your TV, okay? And you're gonna come into a nice wide squat here, okay? So, look at this, my knees aren't like this. You might not be as low as me, you might be here. I want the knees and the toes tracking in the same direction. Shoulders over the hips. Bring your arms out to the side. And then I want you to hold two plates of whatever it is. <laughs> okay, just hold it. Now open up your hands, spread out the hands, get lower. <sighs> Listen, inhale, reach up, straighten the legs. Exhale, take it down. Now, from there, left elbow reaches and right arm over. So my left forearm is now on my knee. Good. And we're gonna switch that, okay? Right there. Okay, not moving the legs. We're gonna go over, two, and back, two. Good, over, two, and back two again stay in that low squat good down and two good back nice good hold it center reach the arms out and then bring the hands to heart center stay in that squat stay in the squat press the feet into the floor and spread out your toes three two Stand it up. Good, nice. Now, walk your feet in. I'm gonna do a little, um, a little progression of movements that I've been working on with, my, with the plantar fasciitis I've been telling you I've been having. Not only is it great for strengthening the feet, but it's great for the balance. So no, no, notice, I'm on one foot. Okay, so, one leg in front. I'm gonna show you from the side. You are going to just bend a little bit in that right leg, okay? Heel is down, come up. Do that again, down and up. One more, down. Now we're just gonna make a little bit of a change here, okay? Take that leg back, diagonal. 
you're gonna do the same thing. And up, good, down, okay. Now here's the hard one. Cross it like you're gonna do a curtsy. If you have to pretend to hold on to something, you do. Okay, and up, good, and down, down. Okay, now, forward, look. Flex, and up. Now that back corner, down, and up. Now cross behind you, and if you're wobbling, that's okay. <laughs> like me, and ready, one more round, here we go. Down, and up, angle it out. Good, let's cross it. And up, good, shake it out, good. Other side, so we're gonna do two in the front first. You're gonna go down, down, and up. Good, you're just keeping that leg there. Down, down, and up. Now back on the diagonal. Back, and in, and back, and in. We cross behind, ready? This one's a little harder. And you don't have to go very deep, okay? We're working on strengthening in those hips and the feet and the core. Good, take it forward, ready? So it's down, two, up, then back diagonal. Back. Cross. I'm staring at a focal point. <laughs> Good, go one more round. Forward. Good. And diagonal to the side. Good, and take it back. And up, feet together. Big breath in. Exhale, fold it. Now inhale, lengthen and look forward. And we're all just gonna step back to a plank just for a quick second. <laughs> okay, if you can't be in this position, you're gonna lay on your back, and I'm gonna show you that move in a second. Take your right knee in towards your right elbow. Cross your right foot towards your left wrist so the leg is crossed in front of you. And before you go down, stay here for a sec. Stay there. If you can't be in that position, you're gonna go to your back, stretch your hips right here. Okay, so you're here. Everybody stay up, get length in the back, inhale. And then as best you can fold over. So you might be here, you might still be here, or you might go all the way down. And remember wherever you go is where you go. And that's perfect. Breathe. So you're feeling that in that right hip, which probably feels great after all the glute work we did yesterday. Now after all that, slowing down, right? Slowing down. Sometimes that's hard because your energy level goes up with that heart rate. You're like, whoo, I'm ready. You know, it's gonna feel so good is now that our body is nice and warm to get these few stretches in here, especially in those hips. So in this position, just listen, lift up and inhale, lift up and inhale. See if you can get a little bit more space in there, wherever that is, sometimes it's bringing that foot back more, sometimes it's lengthening your back more, and then exhale. <laughs> I know we weren't expecting pistol squats on uh, yoga day, right? Whew. Sometimes uh, just taking the time and taking that focus helps us with the balance as well. Now go ahead and take your arms, hands back to the floor. Good, and what we're gonna do is curl the back toes under and we're just gonna go right to the other side. So left knee in toward the left elbow, cross it over, and then go ahead and start to whoo, wiggle it down. Sit up first. If you're on your back, that leg is crossed, so stay up here. Good. So you might be on your back because your knee is not happy or this position is just impossible and that's okay. Inhale. 
take it forward however you need to. Then. Beautiful to stretch out those hips. Take an inhale, lift and get a little bit more space, whether that's in that back hip flexor, in your spine, in your neck, whatever you need to do and come back forward again. If you wanna reach the arms forward, you can. If that does not feel good for your neck, put your hands under your head if you're down. Go ahead and walk yourself back up. And what you're gonna do is just take that right leg around, Ooh. all right? And your feet are in front of you now. So go ahead and just bring yourself slowly down to your back, slowly down to your back. <sighs> bring your knee into your chest, left knee, and extend your right. And just bring your left leg way up and flex your foot. And then just take some circles to the left. Okay, and don't just take the circles, notice what they feel like. Do you feel them in your ankle? Do you feel them in your foot, in your calf, everywhere, other direction? Okay, being aware of where you feel things, making that mind-body connection. Good, now hold it flexed and just walk up the leg. And then exhale down. Good, foot down and switching legs. So other one comes up, extend the bottom one if you want and go ahead and roll them out. Okay, now this foot, this ankle, this leg might feel totally different than the other side. Okay, and that is sometimes, a lot of times we don't have total complete balance. Most people don't, right? Good, other direction. Why? I mean, you think about it, right? So you're right or you're left-handed. You do things more on one side than the other. Uh, think about how you carry your groceries in the house, how you lift your kids or your grandkids, flex your foot, how I lift up Louie, just hold it. <laughs> and if you want to crawl up the leg, you can. Good. Release it down and bring both knees to the chest. Go ahead and bring your knees over to the right and put your right hand on top, left arm out to the side, and then look at that left arm. Good. <laughs> and breath. Scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so my my live audience right now is asking if this this uh <laughs> soundtrack is by ron burgundy <laughs> and slowly take it up and good switch so lift hand down reach the right arm out and look at it good um <laughs> there's so many good lines in that movie good and remember, although we're slowing our bodies down, just to laugh and smile and just kind of chill out and feel good, okay? It's the point of doing all of this. So if, uh, if you're in need of longer, a long Shavasana, you're more than welcome to stay on the floor to do that. We're just gonna go for about a very short one here today. Good, so take the knees back up to the chest, hold it in and extend the legs out and then just let the feet fall open. Now what I want you to do is take your hands, the one hand on your belly and the other hand on your chest. Stay right there, stay right there. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose. 
closing the eyes, bring your hands down to the floor with your palms up. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And now just allow your breathing to turn to normal. This is the hardest pose of all for many of us. But being still and being aware of our bodies and what we have going on. So important. Take a deep breath in. And if you want to stay in your Shavasana longer, please, please do. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. I want you to think about your uh, a Shavasana, right? As resetting. Good. Bring your knees slowly into your chest one at a time. Think about how your phone starts to get wacky or your computer freezes up. Things start getting wacky and you have to shut it down, give it a little bit and turn it back on, right? Come over to a fetal position in one side and then push yourself up to a seated position. You need that even more than your <laughs> even more than you think you do, right? So relax the hands, just drop your head to the left. Let's just take a little neck love here. Okay, so think about that throughout the day too when you're, you're going and going and going and you're just like, oh my gosh, I just can't go anymore. Nothing is going to <laughs> happen that's terrible if you take a one to five minute break and just stop and just breathe and just be okay in fact that may in turn allow you to get more done in a more efficient manner because you took the time to reset believe me I need to do this often <laughs> good nice bring it back up all right, opening the eyes if they're closed and take a deep breath all the way up and in, hands together to your heart. I thank each and every one of you for joining me today in this practice that I hope made you feel amazing. And when you come back to this, please leave a like, leave me a comment, let me know how you felt. And if you feel good, say, wow, I feel good today in those comments. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.